Welcome! Today we'll be reviewing the Vitra House structure, how it works and how it was designed. Let's go! So in the last weeks I got several requests from you guys to do a video specifically about the structure of the Vitra house, which I already mentioned I find very interesting. So this is my humble attempt to provide more information on it. As always I'll keep it simple, giving as much information as possible and if after the video you still have questions drop a comment below or send me a DM through Instagram for example and I will try to clarify. So, first point of the day is provide a reference that we all know and have seen, which is a traditional building structure. In this first example, you will find the foundation and the scheme that repeats for every level. This is columns and slabs. Columns transport loads vertically and slabs horizontally. If we apply that same construction system to the building, the end result would be something like this. A structure carrying the weight of the building, a vertical enclosure, the wall, and a horizontal enclosure, the roof. In the video about the Vitra house, I showed this scheme to illustrate the stacked houses concept. Now that we are talking about the structure, I did an updated version of it, leaving behind the simplified volumes and getting much closer to how the structure of the building works. If you realize, there are no columns in the building, nor any visible structure or connection between levels other than stairs and the elevator shaft. This is because all the houses are self-supporting structurally. These are not elements with different identities. There are no walls, floors and roofs. These boxes are structural elements designed to connect the spaces and create the rooms of the museum. These boxes carry loads down the structure working together. So although conceptually the building is a succession of floating houses, Connected vertically, the building is one whole structure made out of 12 self-supporting concrete volumes carefully designed to work as a unit. In this 3D you can see the example of the top house cantilevered on both ends and supported only in the center by the element placed below. Let me pause this shot for a moment to make a couple of sketches and mention the different structures you can see and how they work together. The center section is the upper house being supported by the vertical elements of the current level. The houses are independent structurally and the view openings had to be incorporated into the structural calculations of the building. This other example is quite illustrative of four different structure levels in the same space and how they can be read. In magenta, our current level. To cross the opposing structure at the same level shown in the back. Blue is the structure below where we are. 
marked in orange is the house that contains the atelier at the ground level and providing support to the volumes above. Overly simplified, the building is one structure separated in different spaces with paths and visual connections. The part that makes it even more interesting are all the cantilevers, huge spans and intersections between elements that create spaces and double heights. All solved out with one type of structural element. I hope the information was easy to digest and interesting. Did you imagine the structure would work in this way? Did you even think about this when you visited the building? Share your thoughts down in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one.